Hey guys, Mike with BK Boats here. Today I'm going to show you on how to align a track as well as track tension as they're both uh, pretty much the same process. We've got a mid-90s uh, Polaris snowmobile here. With this uh, procedure holds true on most, most any sled that's out there. <coughs> um, some of the Yamahas are a little different, but uh, I'll explain that in a minute. On the uh, Polaris ones, there's typically a bolt right here with a jam nut uh, right behind the side of the wheel. First thing you want to do is loosen up this jam nut on both sides. So this allows you to be able to adjust this bolt here. And as far as track tension goes, there is a specific uh, formula and a, a scale you're supposed to use, but um, ideally you want the track to be as tight as you can without it ratcheting on the front drive cogs. Um, so somewhere right here in the middle, it should come down about an inch or so, inch and a half. Um, you don't want it too tight up here. This is where you're, you'll wear your, your high facts. Um, everyone's got a little bit different opinion on how, how tight it should be, but obviously if you lift up the sled and the thing droops down to here on its own, it's way too loose. Just it sitting like this, it should be, you know, half inch, inch uh, without pulling down on it. So to, uh, to adjust track tension, again, you loosen those, and you'll also loosen your idler wheels a little bit on each side. Uh, you got to be careful because the one side will probably really spin, so you need two wrenches on it. Uh, so once your wheels are loose, you loosen this, loose, or loosen your jam nut. You can then adjust your track uh, tension by moving this either in or out. By moving it in, it'll push more pressure on those wheels, tightening up the track. Letting the wheel come in, it'll let it be looser. So once you've got you've got it adjusted to, to the tension you, <clears throat> you need, uh, what you need to do is, is make sure it's even on both sides. So once it's adjusted, uh, the best thing to do is spin the track you know, a couple times. You can start the sled and run it to spin it if you want to do it faster. And then what you do is grab between one lug here and high facts on one side, and you do the same thing on the other. And it's kind of subjective, but you'll feel the difference in um, in the distance from the lug to the high fax on both sides and you want it to be as even as you can this side I can just fit one finger in and the other side over here I can fit you know more than just my one finger so I would want to tighten up this other side to make that side tighter and you do that the same way you would just actually tighten uh, tighten this up and we'll just do it in small increments one or two turns can make a big difference out here and once you make the adjustment, you actually want to run the track again to make sure you uh, you got the track basically settling in on the wheels. And once you run it a few times, then double check it. And that feels pretty good. So what I would do now is you would tighten up the uh, tighten up the idler wheel on both sides. And then I would, since that is where it needs to be, don't adjust the threaded screw anymore. Just tighten up the jam nut against the uh, against the rail here. And the other thing you may want to do while you're at it, if, uh, if these look pretty rusty, you may want to take them all the way out and put never seize on there and put them back in because of steel versus aluminum. Uh, they're known to cold seize and it's not too uncommon that you can't get those out at all. So that's how you would adjust the track tension and also align the track. Any questions? Uh, give us a shout. Thanks.